coasting. I'm still coasting. I might come down some time, but right now I'm floating. It's feeling like one made me two million bucks. I finished one, got one more to light up. Feeling like one made me two million bucks. Thanks for rolling up. I'm Two Blood Marley. And this is Certified Pothead. Smoking on one of my nighttime spliffs. You know what we about to do, Bird Club. We about to take a look at these cannabis conspiracy theories, which I like to call cannabis spiracy theories. Today's theory involves prayers, the, the answering of prayers. You ever wonder what happens when you send up a prayer? Like, where exactly do those heartfelt wishes and desperate pleas go once they leave your lips? Do they float around aimlessly in a heavenly ether waiting to be picked up like lost luggage at the airport or brace yourself for this one what if god since jesus ascended back into heaven delegated the responsibility of managing all prayers to a laid-back cannabis smoking angel enter seraphim splitson the most chill angel in the celestial choir who's now your direct line to the divine intervention sound far-fetched let's puff on this theory for a bit and see where it takes us question why would god need to delegate the management of prayers did the almighty take up a side gig and just didn't have the time is there a cosmic backlog of prayers from 2000 years ago that need sorting or plot twist is god actually the busiest multitasker in the universe and needed someone to handle the help me find my car keys request consider this peeps running in the universe isn't exactly a part-time gig between keeping the planets aligned, ensuring gravity doesn't take a vacation, and fielding requests from every corner of existence, God's schedule is pretty jam-packed. You got natural disasters, Kardashians, and climate change all vying for attention. So could it be that God, like a seasoned CEO, decided to delegate some tasks? Maybe, just maybe, prayer management was passed off to an angel with a more relaxed approach. Someone who knows how to sit and sift through the endless stream of please let me win the lottery prayers. Seraphim Spliffson seems like the perfect candidate. He would sit there with a joint in a smile and sift through all the prayers. Picture this. God sitting at his desk looking at an overflowing inbox of prayers. He sighs and calls Spliffson's into his office and says, Hey Spliff, I need you to handle these for a bit. Take it easy, but make sure they're answered eventually. And Spliffson, always chill, says, no problem, my G. I got this. There's a riddle for you. I'm whispered in fear or shouted in joy. I carry your hopes, every girl and boy. Though you can't see me, I raise up high. What am I that reaches the sky? Here's another question. What happens to your prayers once you hit sin? Are you on snail mail? And that's the delay. Does Spliffson read each prayer over a cup of coffee or is he more of a puff and ponder kind of guy according to the splits in theory your prayer doesn't just shoot straight up to the big guy himself instead it makes a pit stop with seraphim splitson who has his own system of sorting and prioritizing prayer he basically is the celestial bartista of blessings meticulously choosing which prayer gets answered first based on vibes alone need a little extra peace in your life that's an indica prayer my friend for motivation or success get a sativa boost imagine spliffson up there leaning back on a cloud surrounded by wafts of closet smoke reading through the daily prayer requests this one needs some calm energy let's send them some inner peace oh and this one trying to pass a test but didn't study you gonna need more than my help buddy the idea here is that spliffson doesn't just answer prayers he curates them each one is handed with care sorted According to mood, need, and a bit of good humor. Blipson's system isn't just about efficiency. It's about making sure that when you do get your answer, it's perfectly timed for maximum impact. So if your prayer hasn't been answered yet, it's probably just because Splipson's letting it marinate, waiting for just the right moment to deliver. Here's another riddle for you. Acts for the sick, the lost, and the weak. You say me at night for peace you seek. I hold no form, no shape to see, but from your heart, I set you free. What am I? Here's another question. Could prayer answers be influenced by Spliffson's herbal habits? Does each prayer get a little sprinkle of cosmic herb? Or is it more like pairing a fine wine with dinner? A delicate balance of vibes and blessings. 
goes on in the above. In fact, it's entirely possible that spliffs and categorize prayers based on the effects of different cannabis strains. Picture this, right? Prayers for love and emotional healing get paired with a gentle indica strain designed to calm your soul and fill your heart. On the flip side, prayers for success, productivity, or creative breakthrough get a shot of sativa, giving you that jolt of energy and inspiration you need to tackle life's challenges. In those middle of the road prayers, where you're not sure what you need, but you know you need something, you get a carefully crafted hybrid blessing. It makes sense, don't it? It makes sense, doesn't it? Spliffson's up there blending prayers like a master mixologist. This person's asking for confidence in a job interview. It's throwing a dash of creativity and a sprinkle of calm so they don't freeze up. Or maybe you've been asking for peace of mind. Or maybe you've been asking for peace of mind. And Spliffson's carefully selecting a strain of spiritual vibes to help you chill. It's all about balance, folks. Spliffson's celestial system ensures that your prayers get just the right amount of attention. Or maybe a little boost of something from the cosmic garden so you can get the outcome you're truly asking for. It's not just about getting what you want. It's about getting what you need. Here's another riddle for you. I'm spoken in times of joy and pain. Sent to a realm where love does reign. Without lips, I speak loud and clear. What am I? Whispered when you're near. Here's another question. Why do some prayers seem to take forever to be answered? Are there technical difficulties in the afterlife? Is Spliffson maybe stuck in line at the celestial drive through ordering divine snacks? That's the age-old question. Mystery of unanswered prayers. Maybe it's not that your prayers are ignored. Maybe they're just waiting in line, getting processed by Spliffson. Picture this, bro. You send a prayer up for patience. Instead of an instant response, your prayer gets delayed for dramatic effect. Spliffson is probably looking at the request chuckling to himself saying you're praying for patience this is going to be fun let's make him wait a little you see timing is everything in prayer and spliffson is a master of it he knows when you're ready to receive an answer and when a little extra waiting will do you good after all sometimes it's about the journey not the destination think of it like ordering a pizza you know it's coming but waiting makes you wait for the first bite and it's so much better Blipson's timing ensures that when your prayer finally gets answered, it feels like the cosmic equivalent of pulling a perfect pizza out the oven. Hot, fresh, and exactly when you needed it most. So next time you're feeling frustrated about the delay, just remember, Splitson got your back, and he's taking his time to make sure that your blessing is just right. Here's another riddle for you. Arise from your heart, though I have no feet. Carry your wishes to the heavenly seat. You close your eyes. And speak me true. But what am I connecting you? Do I believe this theory? Do I really think all my prayers are funneled through Seraphin Spliffson's chill filtration system? I mean, why not? It's strangely comforting to think that some relaxed, good vibes angel is sifting through my requests, deciding when the time is just right to send a blessing my way. I like the idea that my prayers aren't just floating aimlessly or getting lost in a cosmic spam folder. Nah, brother, being handle with care maybe even with a little chuckle from spliffs in itself as he considers the perfect response honestly who wouldn't want their prayers in the hands of someone who truly gets the art of relaxation if anyone can ensure that things happen in the right way at the right time it's an angel who knows how to slow down and savor the moment yeah i wanted to believe that i want to believe that every time i send up a prayer spliffs is up there with a smile saying chill man i got you covered your blessings on the way It'll be there when you need it most. The next time you find yourself praying for something, just remember, it's probably sitting on Spliffson's desk. The answers to the riddles. Prayer, a prayer, a prayer. I'll see y'all on the next one, bro.